I born guys. You may have seen the videos that I did on dream stage, the time coded light shows. By making those videos, by making those time coded light shows, I got the opportunity, I got the chance to learn more ways to make effects, lighting effects. And groups were huge help for me when I was making those effects. That's why I thought to make this video to share with you what I learned about groups and group layout. So let's dig it. Guys, groups were a huge help for almost every effect that I made using keyframe shape, shape generator, pixel mapper. Groups make our work more easier, more quicker. For example, if I want to select all my spots and locate them, I don't have to go to fixtures and select all my spots. I just have, can make a group and select the group then all my spots are selected. See, then I locate all my spots are located. If I want to select my all washes, all I have to do is select wash group, then locate. Then the value uh, with these groups, that is, you can see now all my uh, spots are on. See, I'm going to copy this, uh, copy this spot group to a fade. You can see it created master, scale master for that group. So when I reduce the scale master, you can see my sp spot intensity went off. When I raise it, it comes on. And when I put down, it goes off. So you can see we can use it, use this group, copy it to a, a fade, playback fade. We can use it as a intensity master for uh, the fixtures that you have included in this group. Okay. Before I go further, I'll show you how to make a group quickly. So let's go to fixtures and groups workspace. Now you can see all my spots. What I'll do is I'll select my spots, four spots. You can see there's already a group, but I can still create a group. Okay, so let's think like this. I want only these four fixtures to be in one group. So what I can do is I already selected those features. Then I can double tap. See, or oh, there's another way. You can rename that group also, or else when you're saving, you can do like this single tab and you give your name for, for sports. Press enter. Done. That's very easy. Now, you may remember in earlier, I said groups help me to make new effects and make it easier. Now, I'll show you why. It's the layout of fixtures inside the group. First, I'll show you how to edit the layout of a group. Then we'll talk further. I'll show you the layout of the all spots first. Okay, now we have to do is select the group and go to groups, edit group, edit layout. You can see here the layout of the group. If we have opened the uh, our capture, and I'll go again to the, the group edit layout. We can, we can see now our capture visualizer and also the layout editor. What I'll do is I'll highlight. Now you can see all spots highlighted. See, the down spots are selecting. You can see here. I'll take it out. You can see uh, top ones and the second layer and the last layer okay guys i'll show you an arrangement for group layout how to edit so i have added blinders you can see here the blinders are in a like a square formation but when i go to layout editor it's in a straight line you can see there's a first one i'll bring it down you can see can select one by one and position them wherever you want positioning your features as it is in your stage is valuable for uh, effects that you're making from pixel mapper if you're making uh, effects from like shape generator or keyframe shape uh, for example, if you want to make an effect that runs through 
this uh, blinders you can keep it straight if you're making that effect from shape generator but if you're making an effect from let's say a pixel mapper arrange your fixtures according to your actual positions in the layout editor will be useful and it will make you material it will make easier for you to make the effect through pixel mapper i'll show you so after i arrange the uh, fixtures as i want what i have to do is go here and crop grid done now i exit so you can see now i'll show you i locate them i'll go to uh, pixel mapper and show you effect so i'll go to shapes and effects and pixel mapper create effect and i'll add uh let's see viral and i'll make it bigger so it goes through this okay and i then i make it rotate You can see if it, if it is running, we can slow down this uh, speed also. Spin animation and we reduce the speed you can see now. And if you want to reduce the points, you can do that. And you can increase the points. You can increase thickness. There's so many options that you can do uh, with uh, Pixel Mapper. So guys, you saw the importance of group intensity masters or scale masters. We can uh, control the intensity of group of fixtures through the scale masters using groups. And also the group layout. By editing the group layout as the actual uh, placements of the fixtures in this stage, you can make uh, effects more easier using keyframe shapes, shape generator, especially pixel mapper. So use those options and try making new effects and let us know how you made your effects using these groups and how you use pixel mapper, keyframe shape and shape generator. We would love to learn from you. You can check my other videos about shape generator, keyframe shape, pixel mapper. I'll add the links in the description and in cards. So till we meet with new knowledge to share, keep in touch and keep learning every day. God bless you.